I want to talk to you a little bit today about the suspension seats that I make. Um, you see a little bit of action there. Tension isn't quite set right for me, but it kind of gives you the idea. It's a scissor suspension with a mono shock in the center. Um, it allows the seat to roll, rotate. It's got built-in slide. Six inches travel. So for trolling, it's really nice to turn sideways and your knees aren't in the gunnel. When it's really rough water, you might want to scoot up a little bit closer to the windshield and protect yourself from some waves. Pull it off, and some of you that have already bought them, you're kind of puzzled with them, because I sell this as a retrofit. You use your existing seat base. This is what's called the base. This is what allows it to rotate. It mounts to the bottom of the suspension. And as long as you currently have fixed height pedestals, it'll work. Now, this one is obviously short because it needs to be shortened because if you can imagine your eight to 10 inches of height gain if you were to put on your existing pedestal. Most people shorten them up. I got a Skeeter eight, a WX1850 um, and I've got mine at four and a half inches and it's about right, just about right. The Ranger guys tend to be closer to four. Some of the deeper Lunds and such, um, five, sometimes six. Um, Triton is also towards that shorter end. One of the things that the Ranger guys and the Triton guys have, unless you're young, uh, they don't like that the seat is so low, it's hard to get up. So here's a way to increase your seat height and certainly protect your back. With that said, the installation first time is about 45 minutes for the first one, and um, the second one takes you about 15. It's not rocket science, it's pretty easy to do. One thing that I will caution everybody is, and this is true for the other one that's very similar to this, I won't name them, is people don't set their tension high enough. The suspension in your driveway is all nice and cushy. You get out in three, four, and five foot waves, you're cycling your suspension a lot because your tension is too low. This is your tension setting. I recommend you max it out, back it off over several trips on the water until you find what you think is your sweet spot for, for your boat and your, and your wave height that you deal with. The problem with the tension being too low is not so much for the driver, but the passenger doesn't have anything to hang on to. And if the suspension tension is too low, the passenger is riding a pogo stick. That can be dangerous. So can't stress that enough. Max out the tension, back it off to your liking. Any questions, I can be contacted. Thank you.